You know, I left this valley over 20 years ago, and I headed out west toward Colorado. But I had a little sweetheart lived here in this valley, and somehow I never quite forgot her. Her face was just as fresh as a dew on a flower. I'm a blonde-headed, freckle-faced little Sally. Big blue eyes and soft pink lips, surrounded by the green, green valley. I walked across the mountain, swam across the rivers, so many that I couldn't keep a tally. I lived for the moment I could feast my eyes down upon the green, green valley. Home in the green, green valley. There was just one more hilltop. Then there it was, stretching out just like heaven there in front of me. I got a mighty funny feeling as I started down that hill. I wondered if anybody would remember me. Then all of a sudden, there was old Ebenezer Brown. Then I asked him where I might find my Sally. He didn't say a word, just pointed down the road to the corner of the green, green valley. took off a running just as fast as I could because I know then that Sally hadn't forgotten for this was a part of the valley we all are said we was going to raise our children in our cotton but then I stopped and I looked there was just a little fence and a marker on the grave of my Sally she was lying there resting just a waiting for me to come home to the green green valley I walked across the mountains swam across the rivers so many that I couldn't keep a tally and I sat down beside her and whispered I'm home home to the green green valley home to the green green valley